Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'd like to introduce to you a new shader preset for Retro Crisis GDV and TSC, and this time it's for the Game Boy Advance. And rather than trying to emulate the original TFT display of the Game Boy Advance, I thought it would be more interesting to reinterpret Game Boy Advance games if they were being run through the Game Boy Advance player on the GameCube. If you'd like to learn how to install this shader preset, I'll leave a link to a video guide in the description below. However, there is a little bit of configuration required to make these work effectively. The first thing you're going to want to do is open RetroArch. Once you've opened RetroArch, go to Online Updater, Core Downloader, and then scroll all the way down to Nintendo. And then once you're here, go to Nintendo Game Boy Advance. And then we want to go to MGBA, and then press Enter to download. Once it's downloaded, open up a Game Boy Advance game of your choice, and then press F1 to go to the Quick Menu. Once you're in the quick menu, go down to Core Options. Go to System, press Enter, Game Boy Model, and then make sure you've got Auto Detect selected. And then go back and back again, go down to Video. And then once you're in Video, go down to Color Correction. Now with this particular option, it's obviously your choice, but I prefer to have this set to Off. If you have this enabled, the core will try to recreate the original colors used on a Game Boy Advance, and those original colors tended to be a little bit more dull and less vibrant, and that's why I generally tend to have this switched to off. Anyway, go back and back again, and now you need to shut down RetroArch and reopen it. And then once you've reopened RetroArch, select a game of your choice, and then select whichever of the Game Boy Advance shader presets you'd like to use. Anyway, here's a quick demonstration of Retro Crisis GDV NTSC Game Boy Advance.